Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So it has been a while since we last checked out a GAN charger because there's just way too many of them in the market right now and I really don't bother go reviewing every one of them until I saw this one on Kickstarter and I asked this company called Arsmail to send me one. This is the Arsmail Visa Pro 160 watt travel GAN charger. Not only it is a USB PD charger that has a couple of ports that can charge up to a total power of 160 watts, but it is also a travel charger at the same time. And what's really cool about it right here is that it has this really nice mecha design that is so unlike any travel chargers that I've seen in the market. So let's find out whether it works well or not in today's video. Now, let's take a closer look at the Arsmail Visa Pro. Now, I really love what Arsmail has done on the charger here. It has an overall robotic mecha design that I really like, and it looks so different from other GAN chargers that I have seen in the market. Now, on the top here, you get this X design here, which I'm sure is a landing port for a mini robot, if you have that. Now, on the front, you get your standard international plug layout. It will support EU, US, and UK plugs. You get the Osmail branding, 160 watt branding here. And on the right, you get this travel adapter branding with some more mecha robotic accents. At the bottom, you have a USB-A port and three USB-C ports that supports a total combined power of 160 watts. Turning over to the left side of the charger, you get three levers here. So if you push out the first one, it reveals the US prong, standard US prong. Push out the second one, it reveals the UK prong. And finally, the last one, it is the EU prong. It's just as simple as that. Now, there are some power specs here that you will need to take note. So it supports a maximum input of 2,500 watts. Now, that is a pretty standard power input and you can pretty much plug in like a hair dryer, an induction cooker, or even a washing machine because most of these operate under 2,500 watts. And the voltage input is 100 to 250 volts. Now, this doesn't mean that you can put in a 110 volt appliance onto it and connect to a 220 volt outlet because this thing here is not a voltage converter, all right? Now, turning over to the back here, there's just some more power specs that you will need to take note because this is where it will show you the combined power output of the USB-C output. So do read that properly in order to get the maximum output out of these USB ports. Despite having a high power output, you might assume that the Arsmail Visa Pro is a really heavy travel GAN charger, but I can show you that it doesn't weigh your bags a lot because according to my weighing scale right here, it weighs about 272 grams. Now, to find out if the Arsmail Visa Pro is the real deal that offers up to 160 watts of power output, we have the 16-inch M3 Pro MacBook Pro and an iPhone 15 Pro Max to do the test. So, According to the combined power specs on the back, the Arsmail Visa Pro will work up to 160 watts when we plugged in a USB-C cable to USB-C 2 and 3 ports. So let's first charge the M3 Pro MacBook Pro, okay? So I have the first USB-C to MagSafe connector connected and we're going to charge the MacBook Pro. And next, we'll have another USB-C cable to charge our iPhone 15 Pro Max. All right, so let's find out the power profile in the system report, all right? So let's go to more info, system report, and power. Scroll down to the bottom here. And as you can see, we have 140 watts here as per the MacBook Pro system report. And according to this mini power meter on my iPhone 15 Pro Max, we have 12 watts of power input. Now this is really accurate as per what Arsmail is claiming on its GAN charger. All right, so that's a quick look at the Arsmail Visa Pro GAN travel adapter. It is currently available for purchase at Arsmail's Kickstarter page. And as you can see right here, it is already fully funded. And this thing here can be purchased at 59 US dollars, which I think it is a really worthy investment if you have a lot of gadgets to charge and you just want one single adapter to rule them all and charge them all. all. Right, so that's all for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos coming right up and I'll see you in the next one.